everyone, how are you guys doing today? Big Bill back with some more American Truck Simulator here in the career uh, profile. We are in our beautiful midnight blue, as I like to call it, Peterbilt 389. How are you guys doing? I am doing good, and sorry about <laughs> the late video. Um, you guys are probably wondering where I've been the last week or so. I think the last upload was... I think a week ago, maybe maybe less than that, or actually maybe more than that, but uh, had a lot of stuff to do, um, we'll get to that here in a moment, but first we're going to talk about our load, we are hauling a mobile crane, it weighs 40,663 pounds, we are going from uh, the delis to uh, Coos Bay, uh, we're going to Centex, or Centex. Hopefully I pronounced those two cities or towns' names correct here in Oregon. I know I didn't pronounce them the right first time, so. <laughs> Oops, sorry, buddy. Got a few topics to talk about today. Um, but first things first, it's going to take us 5 hours and 52 minutes to get there, and 323 miles. Oops. The trailer I am running is a KoZ or KaZ, a little boy trailer. You can find that trailer pack on myland.net. Uh, cables are working. As you can see right there. Oh, you dick. Should have been paying attention there. That's my fault. <laughs> um. So yeah, hopefully you guys sit back and enjoy and who knows, we might have a laugh or two. <laughs> I think we already did. <laughs> Oop, way station. Alright. Uh, where have I been since the last upload, which it looks like you guys did like that truck, uh, the Gavatron uh, truck. Um... I actually been pretty busy the last week that I've been off work um, with hunting and um, doing stuff with family so pretty much that's what I've been doing um, so yeah um, two things I do want to add um, a lot and a lot of you been wondering if I was gonna do public betas for some weird reason um, something's up with public beta 1.33 for me um i think the thing that was up was i didn't want to get i didn't get the trip i wanted <laughs> and you know it just kept on making me mad so unfortunately i'm not going to be doing public beta 1.33 um by the time i do uh the full game will be updated probably so so that's a bummer as we're actually going to be getting ready to talk about 1.33 here. Oop, Portland. Um. So. So I did drive 1.33 public beta for a little bit. I had that on here. Um, if I remember correctly, um, I have to show you guys this, but my other profile that I use, I can't use it right now for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Um, I guess I got to wait for the game to up update. So, And just out of curiosity, you guys were wondering, Really? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about the pause there. Uh, something was up with my Xbox. <laughs> I think it has like a mind of its own or something. Like I'm touching it when I'm not really touching it. So that's my fault. <laughs> but anyways, um, 
Driving on 1.33 public beta, it's actually pretty nice. Um, the new road, um, Oregon, one, Oregon 140. I'll pop up on the map. It's not going to be on here, but it's going to connect uh, Lakeview and Kalmath Falls. It's going to be like right here, Oregon 140, which is really nice. Um, the Turnpike Trailers in Nevada, 253 footers. Um, those are actually pretty nice. I actually hauled uh, two of them down there in Nevada. Um, so I can't wait for that to be in the game. And the other two things that were a main thing to me, number one was the rain and number two the detours. The rain actually looks pretty, actually decent. I mean... I actually quite like it. I actually felt like I was in real life, but they could use a little bit more to it, in my opinion, but we'll have to see what everybody else says about it. And then with detours, if you guys do not know about detours, well, if you guys aren't from America, you guys are playing this game around, I know there's a lot of people who play this game around the world. Um, detours here in America um, consists of Road closures, accidents that are pretty bad. Um, the road tearing up, some some stuff like that. So. And pretty much what they do is uh, they reroute you to, they pretty much reroute you to take a better route or to go around it. Um, that's one way to describe it. Um, it does happen here a lot where I live. Um, I think just last week we had a bad accident up around Dillsburg. It was a fatal and uh, I guess they were doing a, a police investigation. Um, they actually shut down, um, I think it was 15. It was either, yeah, it was 15. From some exit to Dillsburg, they shut down that, and they rerouted everybody. And then other, other things like road closures, like here in Pennsylvania, it does happen. Um, they shut down a road, and then they'll have like a detour sign, like, oh, hey, turn left here and you follow the orange signs and then you find another sign that says oh detour so and then just out of curiosity you guys were wondering about that Wilson Wilson grain trailer that was parked next to me that is also another trailer pack. Um, I will be pulling out here, hopefully. Um, that's actually a pretty good trailer. Um, it comes with three different trailers. It's not the Pinga one. It's just a regular one. When we get done with this trip, I'll show you guys. So. Now, another thing is the beacons. So... I really understand that. I mean, I kind of like it like this. See? Like, it pretty much bounces off other vehicles and stuff. I pretty much like that. I mean, to me, that feels more realistic than anything. So. Salem. Beautiful Salem. Oh, we discovered it. 6 out of 14. You know, you think with, like, three other profiles, you think I already have that achievement unlocked. <laughs> now, if you guys are uh, running out of curiosity, um, if you guys are running out of curiosity of what is to come, 
here with the channel. This is the main topic I wanted to talk about other than 1.33 for American Truck Simulator is what am I going to do other than ATS if I can't get ATS to work? Well, I have a few options. I can do some daily vlogs. Um, I know you guys like that. Or uh, for Forza Horizon 4 videos. Of, I haven't really worked out what I'm going to do with that yet, so you guys got to be a little bit more patient. Um, I know you, a lot of you are, um, which is a good thing. <laughs> so, Looks like we're getting off here. I also do want to let you guys know um, if the next. I know we have a map mod in this game, uh, my, in this profile, MHA Pro. Um, it might have to kick me back to Los Angeles, which is our home base, um, which I'm fine with. Um, I think when it does that, I think I might do some silent trips for you guys. I know you guys have been asking more about that. You know. Some other stuff. Um, I know you guys have been asking me to talk about more about sports and other stuff. So, the one topic that was brought to me yet the other day on Facebook, uh, somebody messaged me. Or no, it wasn't Facebook. It was some. I think it was my email. Somebody sent me an email, or one of my subscribe. I don't know if it was a subscriber or it was just a guy who liked my stuff. He says, "Can you talk about the college football playoff?" The NCAA college football playoff. Well, my opinion, there should be more than four teams. It should be like at least eight, personally. Um, do I like how the rankings are right now? 50-50. Is there a team I would replace with one of the top four? Yes. I'll get that to you in a moment. So right now, in the college football playoff, it's Alabama versus Oklahoma in the I think it's the Orange Bowl down in Miami. And then second rank Clemson versus third rank Notre Dame in the Con Bowl in Arlington. The one team I would replace, and I and I do, I, and I have a lot of respect for both these teams, Oklahoma. Here's the reason why I'm saying Oklahoma. If you put Georgia back in the top four, that will be one hell of a good game between Alabama and Georgia once again. Now, I know everybody's saying, oh, wait a minute, but Oklahoma won the Big 12 championship. Yes, they did. Against Texas, who beat them in the River Rivalry earlier in the year. Now, I'm not saying that's the reason why Oklahoma's in it, because, oh, hey, they beat the team that beat them earlier in the season. No, I'm not saying that. I think Georgia has a better chance of being at Alabama. Now, would, o now, would Oklahoma beat Alabama? Would that surprise me? Of course.
Here, I'll show you the cable quick, right there. Right here. And yes, I know it's coming out of the toolbox, but I'll have to pick a better toolbox, so. So hear me out on this, okay? If let's say, if let's say Georgia would be Oklahoma, I mean Georgia would be Alabama. This is how the top four would be: Clemson, Notre Dame, Georgia, Alabama, or Clemson, Alabama, Notre Dame, Georgia. Either way, Alabama was still in the top four because just the, the way the team is. So, th theoretically, do I like this top four? Yes, I do. I mean, Notre Dame is in there. That's a good thing. Uh, third ranked. Um, do I think we have a chance of beating Clemson? I do. Um, I think we can beat Clemson. Uh, do I think we have a chance at Oklahoma? Oh, uh, yeah. I think we do, and I don't think we have a chance at Alabama. <laughs> I'm just saying that now. Beautiful bridge. Tugboat. Come on, Grandma. Uh. <laughs> so that's my take on the college football playoff. Uh, two very good games, I think. Uh, I think Alabama is going to be Oklahoma, and I think Notre Dame is going. I, th I think Notre Dame is going to be Clemson, but it won't be a big margin. But if Clemson does beat Notre Dame, I'm still going. I'm, I'm going to say it's a good season. We made the playoff. Uh, I think it's a good thing that Brian Kelly put Ian Book in. Um, the sucky part about it is, though, is we're going to lose a lot of players. I think we have about 30 seniors, if not less, or possibly more. So, But it'll be all right. Ooh, rebound. NFL, there's really nothing to talk about here in the NFL. Um, the hell? Okay. Huh. I know. I don't know. It's a little weird, but um, a few things other to talk about. Uh, actually, really not. That's about it. <laughs> okay, are we all gonna get in the turn lane and have some fun. Three. No. See that, that see that right there is why I don't like the AI half the time. I mean in all seriousness too. I mean people do do that in real life, don't get me wrong, but that 
That is just plain just too stupidity. Yeah, can't speak. <laughs> I mean, in all seriousness, if you I I just don't know what to say to that. I mean, thank God I wasn't even closer. I'm like, holy shit. That guy don't have his headlights on. I mean, if I was any closer to that car, she would have came back, or he would have came back and hit my trailer. Very beautiful. Um, a lot of also people have asked me if I'm going to bring a Euro Truck Summer 2 back. Uh, I might. Uh, I'm still 50 50 with that game. I mean, the Baltic Sea DLC just got released and it looks really good. I mean, it looks really, really good. So, would that be another thing you guys would like to see? A career profile in that, too. Is that I would have to bring over some American rigs. <laughs> Very beautiful. I love this. I think Oregon's one of the, like the top states I want to go see. Or just drive through. How? For what? Oh, we just lost some money. 2%. I guess I got to back this load in. Like, what the fuck? I mean, right there, okay, the truck's at, I knew the truck was at 4. It was at 4% when I started. The trailer was at 0. And then the load was at 1%. I don't understand. We didn't hit anything. I mean, we were cleaning bridges. And tunnels. Huh. I think with this trailer though, you get that you have like twenty five different loads. Um Yeah, see, we're clearing this bridge. I don't understand that. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I 
Oh, there goes our profit for this run. <laughs> Big train. <laughs> Uh, I guess today's not my trip. <laughs> I knew something stupid was gonna like seriously. Nine percent damage for. <clears throat> now I understand a fourteen percent on a truck because we just hit that thing back there, but in all seriousness. See, this is the shit that pisses me off. I mean, I'm sorry for the language, but. I think SCS needs to get their fucking heads out of their fucking asses and just fucking fix this shit. I mean, that's really pissing me off. No, there goes our perfect run I was trying for. I mean, uh, in all seriousness, I am sorry about the language. I mean, I mean, I honestly did not hit anything. Other than that thing back there, yeah, I know, but. Oh, I just don't understand it. Anyways, we have made... I'm not going to even restart it. I know a lot of you guys do that, but... I just don't got the patience for it right now. I mean... See, I'm not going to turn. Nope. One the other way. If you guys have her delivered here, you'll see why here in a minute. Why I didn't turn there. Fucking bolt. God. I'm just going to deliver it. I honestly do not care. I'm sorry, but I just... Fucking pissed me off. That's like the fifth time it has done that to me. I mean, not even pulling this trailer, but for some... Like, I pull it on a low bed, and all of a sudden it tells me, Oh, you got trailer damage. I'm like, for what? There's a reason why it ain't coming that way. So. Forty percent, forty XP. Fucking piece of shit. Sorry about the language, guy. I mean, I am seriously sorry about that, but. Everyone see something fucked up? There you go. There's that trailer right there, and the same load. <laughs> There's a Jazzy Cat little boy right there, and I never have a problem with that.
kiss my fucking ass. Seriously. There you go. Just show you how, just show how screwed up this, uh, I'm leaving this fucking yard. That's gonna irritate the shit out of me. But anyways, guys, uh, sorry about the language. Like I said, I mean, you guys can even watch that. I mean, there is no reason why. I mean, we should be unlocking one of these right now. I mean, that... that just don't understand it. Alright, so... Nope, this ain't it. There it is. Here's that Wilson trailer uh, that was there earlier in that yard that we picked up that load. There's all three, and these will not pop up like that. It'll pop up one at a time. So, very cool. And. Nope, no, no. Okay, where is it? Oop, here it is. The TN Cosad. Here you guys go. We got a blade. Yeah, like, here's all the different loads. Caterpillar and excavator. Scrapper. T8i, Corvette, empty, the rail car, division pipe, transformer, dozer, fire dozer, dump truck, large cables, a large tree, <laughs> a predator drone, off road water truck, military, the crane we just delivered, Russian tank, a gazelle, was it a helicopter? Compactors, exploration vehicle, stacked low beds, a tank, underground storage tank, asphalt paver, Rin Super 2500, and the steel grid. And there you guys go. So there's like 30, 30 cargoes, maybe more than that. But, anyways, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, sorry about the language. I mean, that that's just making me mad. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully our next one will be better. Take care. Big Bill is out.